Hello everyone. In the last video, we've seen how to add markers. In this video, we'll see how to add two tips in our chart. So let's get started. I'm already in their documentation. So inside of get started, I'm just going to head over to tutorials and inside how to examples, you'll see there's an option called two tips. So if I take a look at this option, um, they have described how to how we can add a functional tooltip in our chart. So uh, what we have to do, we have to um, put some HTML inside our subscribe crosshair movie. Uh, I think we're, all, we're already familiar with, with this method. Uh, we used this when we were um, getting our price values on the legend. So a tooltip, uh, if I give you an example, uh, you will understand properly. It's just it's basically a floating legend. That's all. We just have to style it, and we just need to um, move its position with dynamic left and right value. So lightweight charts will provide us um, all the values necessary to make it dynamic. So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to get back to my code, and I'm going to create a new div in my chart container ref so inside new div and uh, i'm going to create a reference for this as well and i'm going to name it tooltip ref so obviously i don't have tooltip ref created yet i'm going to create it in a few moments but before that we need a few more stuff like I'm going to call this tenure uh, bits. So these are the things that we need um, on our tooltip. I need the company name and then I need the price value. So we had a price value declared up top. Uh, if I go top, I'm, I'm going to get I'm going to create this tooltip for our line price. So it's, I mean, our line chart. Oh, okay. So that's this uh, blue uh, thin line for for this series. I mean, so I'm going to get the line price. Okay. So I'm just going to show the line price, line price inside, and below, I'm going to show the time at any point so current time so obviously i don't have current time and tooltip ref created it i'm going to create it now i need a state and a use ref so const tooltip ref use ref so we'll see that that error should um, go away now and i need a state as well. I'll just call it current time. Set current time. Use state. And um, at the start, it should be null. So all of those error has gone. All right. So we should already see. Okay. So current time is not defined objects are not valid okay so the thing is that it's not only line price it's actually line price dot value all right and uh, yeah so basically at the start it's null because we're not hovering on anything so we have to apply optional chain okay so we already have our um, tooltip um, I mean, it's unstyled and uh, it's definitely, it doesn't look anything uh, like this, but we will fix that in a moment. So first we need to style it a bit. We have to say class name. Well, uh, not using tailwind, so style. It should be, since our uh, parent is relative already, we don't have to make it relative again. We can just say position absolute 
and we can give it a width um, say 120 and height uh, let's say 90 so what else we can give it a border say one pixel uh, and since we are using a um, black background we can just say the border color and make the border color white okay so that's it for now let's see its condition okay so it has gone away completely the reason is that we need a z index connect let's make it 1000 or something like that okay so we can see it already um, on the left top of our chart so we have to make the text white text uh, i mean color what am i doing it should be white okay so now we have to make it move dynamically with our mouse cursor okay so below in our subscribe crosshair move subscribe crosshair move yeah so we have to get the coordinate const coordinate and uh, on this method um, if i take a look at the docs uh, you'll see that it's called um where was it okay okay so there is another method called price to coordinate and it takes the price as the argument uh, i'm going to explain what it does so let's write it first so uh, series dot price to coordinate and it takes the price series dot price uh, actually we don't have series we have we, i already said that we want to uh, show the tooltip for the line series so we are going to create it for the line series okay so line series dot price to coordinate and it takes the line price so we had line price data i'm just going to pass this data because this is already i already have it i already have the line price i don't have to create it again okay so if i console log this now you'll see that you'll see what it does okay so let's see basically okay so i have to say line price data and then i have to say value actually yeah okay so this this is working now okay all right so what's happening actually i think you can see the console log see there i mean it's the console logs are registering as i move my mouse cursor on the series see so what happens is that it takes the price as the argument and it converts it uh, to its pixel position i mean its pixel coordinate so we already know that in chart we have ticks and values right so if i go to a pick say this one we can see the value decreases and if i go to any um, valley say this one you see that the value is 423 now so it increases if i gradually move to the top from the bottom you see that it increases gradually as well see uh, i mean i mean it decreases gradually um, my mistake okay so it decreases as i go on the top so what happens is that it's basically zero on the top and it increases on the bottom so what it did is that it took all this price and it converted it to its pixel uh, coordinate all right so we can use this for our tooltip right so let's see how we can do that so we have our position on the y-axis okay 
So we have the position of the tooltip for the y axis already. Now we just need the position of our tooltip for the x axis. We have to get it dynamically. So as I move my mouse, I want to get the value of the x axis of my current position. Okay. So we already have the value for the y axis from our coordinate. Okay. So let's make a new constant and call it shifted. And let's call it shifted uh, coordinate. So we are already receiving param as the parameter from our subscribe crosshair move and it has some method as well it's called param dot points point and it gives us the x so if i console log this so what it will do is that it will give us the position of our mouse cursor on the x axis see it's doing that too So um, at any viewpoint, at any, like, if I, if I fix my series here, the very left is zero and the very right, I mean, the right depends on your width actually. Okay, so for, for my, for me, the width is actually 1295, okay? So I have my X, I have my Y, I can easily make the tooltip dynamic. Let's see this console log. Um, what I can do now is that I can just say tooltip ref dot current dot style style dot and it's going to be the position and it's going to be left. Okay, so for left, I'm going to use the value of the x. Okay, so when I am on the left, it's zero. So from left, I will be at zero. Um, from left, my tooltip will be zero pixels um, away. And uh, when I am at this position, say at this position, my tooltip will be nine, uh, 1295 pixels away from the left. Okay. And for the top, we can, oh, never mind. For the top, we can just say, style dot top and we can use the coordinate for this so if i take a look now okay nothing's working so the reason is that actually the left takes the value in pixel so what we have to do is that we have to add px after after this otherwise this won't work so yeah it's good that we got, uh, got that okay so yeah it's working now so let's just give it a background to this. I'm going to give it a white background. It just uh, doesn't look that good currently. So background color should be white. And the text, uh, I'm just going to make it black for now. I mean, just for learning purpose, it doesn't have to be the best looking in the world. So yeah, we have a functioning tooltip already. And it's showing the position of the line series. I mean, it's showing the value of the line series. Okay. So, yeah, it has some, I mean, we need to polish it a bit, but yeah, it's working pretty good. Let's add a padding to it. Say three or five, whatever. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, we were supposed to add the time as well. So we did not get that we can get it from the param as well so here set current time that's going to be param dot time and uh, yeah we have the time but it's like way below and it's in timestamp format so we need to convert it as well so I'm just going to say new date. I know this is not the best practice, but it's just going to do it for now. To locale date string. Okay. It's going to work for now. Yes. 
and I'm going to increase the height just a bit. So make it 120 as well. Yeah, that's perfect. That works. Let's make it E. It's just getting whatever. And uh, we can just make it. So we have a functional tooltip now. Uh, if you want to explore this, uh, explore all the options of tooltip and uh, what you can do with this, uh, you can explore this docs. Um, they have different types of tooltip for your use case. Say this one has adaptive position. Say oh, when it has enough space on the top, it is on the top, but when it doesn't have enough space on the top, it goes on the bottom. So it's actually very easy. And if you go uh, through this doc, you can get a good idea. You will also be able to generate a tooltip that moves with your mouse. So it just uh, it moves on freely on the Y axis. It's actually easier to do. So uh, you can do it as well. And uh, there is another tooltip of this type. It's, uh, I mean, wide and uh, transparent. So I really like this one. You can uh, explore this yourself. So that that will be all for this video. If you're enjoying this series, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, the files for these uh, tutorials will be available in our e-learning platform. Uh, it's called in a nutshell. So if you're enjoying this, please visit in a nutshell. The, the links will be on the description. Thank you. Thank you for watching.